Hi, I'm Sinead O'Brien and this is Tower Recommended. So this uh, record I haven't actually listened to yet, but I'm really excited to because I recently got recommended um, this artist Ghostface Killer, who we know from Wu-Tang Clan, um, by Blind Boy actually on his podcast. And I list I jumped into album two, I think it was, called Supreme Clientele. And it's full of like samples and guest vocals. And I came across a couple of tracks I thought were really, really interesting. Like they were kind of intermission pieces. Um, Iron's theme was one of them and um, really, really great. And then I kind of, yeah, I kind of stumbled upon this one, I think it was called um, Cherche Le Ghost, I think that's what it's called, and has this incredible uh, female guest vocal called You God. And it sounds, it sounded like it was released yesterday or like tomorrow. It's so modern, it's unbelievably modern. Um, yeah, and I just kind of thought, okay, this is something I'm really interested in. and. Um, yeah, so I picked up this, which the reason I picked it up is firstly because it's a, a collaboration and in this kind of music, as we know, there's like always a lot of guest vocalists and kind of, yeah, collab. So it's Sourface and meets Ghostface Killer. Um, and there's just like a list of around 20 people on the back. So yeah, and the, the titles are really great on this as well. I like um, Face Off, Iron Claw. I think Iron runs through all of Ghostface stuff. So I'm quite interested to hear what that sounds like and Mongolian Beef and The King Heard Voices and Listen to the Colour. They're just great titles and the comic theme which runs through maybe also relates to the different kind of um, filmic scenes within the songs. Um, but who knows because I haven't listened yet. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a treat. <laughs> News on a night shift, night shift. Get the Billy Club or the night stick, night stick. Sublim stone, I get right with. Right My murder game down to a tight knit. Reputations brought the story is polished, no laces in my feet. So Nilifer Yanya. This is an artist I am quite familiar who I'm quite familiar with because well, she's based in London and uh, her manager also works on a, ch a chess club. So yeah, I've been listening to Nilifer for quite a while now, but this album for me is just like, yeah, well, it's her pinnacle so far. It's incredibly modern, fresh. It's really clean. I love the production on this. I don't usually like production so clean, but her voice and her delivery is so like sincere and genuine. And it's almost doesn't care nonchalant, but it's incredibly cool. It's a uh, throwaway at times, but like it's in really hooky. I think this is a modern classic album. I don't think I've ever said that before. It is though, it really is. A couple of my favorite tracks from the album, The Dealer, which is actually the first one. Um, I'm, I'm always like walking around the house singing this, actually humming this. Uh, I have to be careful not to listen to this too much. It's so hooky, um, it really is. Um, let me think, another favorite, uh, Belong With You, is really anthemic. It's kind of like a discordant mantra um, yeah, that's a really cool one. So anybody who hasn't listened to Nilifer, really, really listen to this. It's it's a piece of piece of work. I was thinking about the Pixies the other day. I've been wearing my Pixies T-shirt every day and every night um, <laughs> for comfort reasons, and. This album, I think, everybody needs. Everybody needs this. It's Do Little by Pixies. I first came across them when I was 13. Uh, me and my best friend Aoife, we bonded over them at school. And I remember sitting in front of um, the TV, like watching MTV waiting for their songs to come on so I could transcribe the lyrics. And yeah, God help me because like, I didn't get very far with this. And also it didn't make any sense. It's not the kind of thing you need to read as a story. It's almost like um, dream structure, the way it's written. It's surreal, absurd. Uh, it's really dark actually, this, this album lyrically. But then how, how does it? It sounds, it sounds like bright blue and it sounds soothing and it has some surf in there. 
there's something about it where it's it's a great balance I think it's a, yeah I think it's just really well balanced um a balanced meal my favorite tracks would be Debaser for sure um Wave of Mutilation uh Here Comes Your Man Here Comes Your Man actually yeah god it's such a gratifying chorus it's great I mean, that's the one of the ones I was transcribing I just I remember it so well so stupid just sitting with the notebook and writing these lines like trying to like I just couldn't get my head around it like what is this stuff um but yeah one of my favorite bands ever Pixies I have two more records. I have, this is another modern classic, I think, I, I yeah, um, it's K Tempest, The Line is a Curve. Um, Dan sent this to me, Dan Carey, who produced it, who's also my producer, he sent this to me, uh, probably off the back end of when we were recording, um, just as it was ready, and he kind of pointed at a couple of tracks in particular, um, and yeah, it's, it's an unbelievable piece of work. It's like, it's also taking Kay's work to a new uh, context. There's new textures in there. It's, it's dark and it's hopeful, but more than anything, it's, uh, it's the strength of her poems. Like, I mean, I don't, there's nobody like this. There's nobody like this. Um, Salt, um, Salt Coast, sorry. Salt is my song. <laughs> Salt Coast. <gasps> Uh, I was exchanging the words for the back of my own record. I don't know how that can happen. Um, Salt Coast is, is a really great track. And then More Pressure as well um, has quite a good groove. Uh, yeah. Also, I feel like Kay's hooks come around like, in, like mantras too. Um, they reinforce. And actually, these two songs, if I take these two, for example, More, uh, More Pressure and Salt Coast... They kind of have similarities, but almost like talk to one another on the record. And these are the kind of things that I love in records where the songs relate to one another, but can also exist as singles. Um, yeah, do you know what? Actually, it's like a giant poem and these are verses within an epic poem. That's kind of what I mean about this. Um, what an incredible example of poetry. Um, yeah, I love this. You let it surprise you I was in a party face mostly eyeballs Chin deep in a bag of white lies Saying I'm sick and tired of my own advice I see it now So perfect but so hard to put into practice One step forwards, two steps backwards And finally This is the new Just Mustard record um, Yeah, I really like Just Mustard I always have um, I think here is where they really nailed their sound Like the sounds chosen for this album are incredible. Um, all of the instrumentation, it's, it sounds like it's the underbelly of the earth working. It's, it's very, I don't know if industrial is the right word when it comes to music or genre, but like industrial sounds. Um, and I think on this track, Seed, which is my favorite, it's, I think they've pushed it to the limits of what's possible. Like the, it's, it's the most industrial, most, hard it's almost grotesque it's heavy it's deep it's full of air and then the vocal goes to this really shrill place that's almost almost impossible and then yeah it, it just does um i yeah really admire this album i think it's an incredible piece of work um i also i think i got into just mustard because of some sort of my bloody valentine reference you know that i had uh, for their sounds, but I think they seriously have their own their own place in the music scene with with this record, and I think it's yeah, I think it's incredible, um, and I can't wait to listen more. Anyway, I, I feel like I've just touched on the surface of this one, but I find it really deeply interesting. Yeah. I've been Sinead O'Brien and this is Tower Recommended. My album Time Bend and Break the Bower is out now. Uh, come and grab one from Tower Records in Dublin. Yeah.